might be the lord of the kaiju rising Throw it right back when I fight you lightning Breaking all the plans when I'm fusing with the lads Yeah, mega kaiju breaking right through It's frightening Ooh, North Japan on the bomb Ooh, how these kids crying to their moms Alien, heading straight to Fuji when I roll up Scary and eating every human fruit roll up Only four from the three you ain't messing with Hello, welcome to Kaiju Theater. We are on to some new Kaiju films. I want to thank MVD Entertainment, Entertainment for sending me this one to review. This is a 2022 film distributed by SRS Cinema. And let's take a look inside just to kind of see. Now, I don't think SRS includes posters with their... DVDs, but they do with their Blu-rays. I will put a link to my good buddy Casey's channel. You can see his Blu-ray review. If you want to see some of those, if you want to see, I don't know if he displays the poster or not. I can't really, I don't think he does, but if you want to see the Blu-ray review, here we go. It's a 2022 film, approximately an hour and six minutes. Super Legend, God, Hikoza, Hikoza. So, let's go over some of the features here. Again, I want to thank NVD Entertainment for sending me this one to get reviewed for you guys. Again, SRS Cinema Distributor. Bonus features, you get the English subtitles. Making of featurette. Actually, 71 minutes, Region B. Yes, it is a Japanese film. Let's just go ahead and read the back here. Well, you have an idea what's going on. There really isn't hardly any reviews on IMDb. This is such a fresh film. From 2022, November, when it's released. Uh, but Casey did review it, so we'll put that also as well. So, Techo and Taiho are two scientists... From an, alt, from, an, from an ultra research group center who discover a mecha emulating a signal of a giant monster. This is 400 years, by the way, since this huge battle that Hikoza was involved in versus another monster that they're getting these signals. And basically, it says here, the roller coaster ride includes a love story uh, kaiju mad scientists, humanoid robots, all seasoned with absurd humor, action, back battles, battle. From Manuka Kurosaki, director of Monster Seafood Wars, which I've heard is hysterical. This is basically a sci-fi comedy kaiju film. And just to basically sum up what I gathered from it, because this one... Had me off course a little bit. Generally, I can follow along pretty good, but the opening sequence you have Icoza fighting this other monster. This other monster is threatening to destroy all of the lands with a fire and killing off a whole bunch of people. So the monster uh, is fighting Icoza, and Icoza says, I'm going to do out a distress signal um, retaliation, which is going to basically prevent. It's like a preventable retaliation, I believe what they call it, where. He offs them both, kind of, for the next 400 years. But they are still preserved and eventually found um, by these kids and these scientists that are working on things. And they both end up being brought back after 400 years for another epic battle. Meanwhile, along the way, along the way you have these, these teenagers that are kind of following in love a little bit. You have some of the scientists that are kind of suspect you have some people that are going down a dark path that are trying to find where they're at in life and there's like this mad other doctor or it's other scientist that's trying to uh, do bad things and basically bring back some of the monsters against the Hycosa. Now let me give you my thoughts on this one there are similar scenes to this in a more comedical fashion to Pacific Rim as some people have to control the monsters um, which one of the monsters is a doll, but he looks more like a, um, 
I told Casey I thought it looked like a battery, but it's actually, he, he, you're right. Once he goes from the smaller version to the bigger version, he looks like a giant trash can. Um, and then there's a fish looking character, monster. So there's just different characters, different elements along the way. You do get some battle scenes, and then you get some really, really like cheesy stuff. A lot of CGI. Some effective, some silly. Um, this is one you can watch with your kids, though. There really wasn't anything bad in it that I can recall. Overall, the fight scenes are a little weaker than your standard kaiju film. The story was funny. For some reason, all the villains in the film kept licking their lips, and it was just hysterical. I don't know why they were doing that. I don't know if they were trying to emulate this guy, this dragon. But uh, I thought it was funny. One guy had a perfect bowl haircut. I'll try to include a picture if I can remember too. Um, like legitimately perfect. He almost looked like Lloyd Christmas from um, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber. But anyways, uh, it was okay. It was worth a watch. Um, if you have an evening available and you got a quick hour and ten minutes to kill, check out Super Legend God. Hikosa. A little bit of the, what you can see there. See, kind of looks a little bit like a trash can, but it's a low budget independent film. I don't know too much about the statistics on it filmed in Japan, but it's all subtitled. But it was it was fun. We'll give this one about a C minus to a C plus on the bug on the Kaiju scale. And uh, thank you for watching and thank you for MVD Entertainment for sending me this to review. Peace.